Hello and welcome to Accounting in Google Sheets. This is day one sales report. All I have for now is some dummy data entered in sheet code sales. And I want to make unbreakable sales report and separate sheet. First thing to be done is IDs for each individual column. You see there are some columns with data and they are also called fields. So I want to make field ID. Now I've added numbers from 1 to 7. These are just serial numbers for these field names. And I also freeze row number 2 with field names. To make these IDs work I need another sheet. So I decided everything in my accounting will have the, their own field IDs even fields. So I have two fields for them. One is field ID. Second is field name. I want to delete these extra columns. We have so far some basic fields and field IDs from sheet sales. Let's return them with transpose formula. Transpose of this array. And I will convert this range of formulas into values, copy them and paste spatial as only values. And we have two additional fields, field ID and field name. It will be fields number 8 and 9. Write these field IDs 8 and 9. The well, next step I want to achieve is to make my field names to show automatically from this list of fields. I will go back to my sales sheet and write down this lookup formula to look this field ID from list in fields from A to B. It will give me open range so if I add new few IDs, I will get the same formula. I will lock this with F4 key. So you see these dollar signs, which will give me locked range from A3 to B. Hit comma, and also comma. Commas are between each element, each argument of this formula. Next one is 2, we want to return second column. Next one is false, or we may even leave this blank. Close brain, hit enter, and the order date here. I will select this range, hit Ctrl and R, and it will expand this formula right control r r means right and also i will copy this formula here and paste it now if i change some field names like field id or order date i added some spaces you see field id name was changed here and order date was changed in my sales sheet. That's because I have field names only in one separate sheet. If I change them, they are changed everywhere in my accounting tables. Now I'm ready to build sales report. And first I'm gonna start with defining this range. I must have this range in order to use it in my future query formula. First things, I want to delete extra columns from sales sheet, delete columns. So let's get back to our sales reports. First thing I want to get is sales. This is the name of sheet sales. Uh, we have to write this down because there is no current country, there is no formula for getting sheet name in Google Sheets. 
we will get back to this later in our other videos for now let's just enter string sales in cell a1 next thing we need row number one this is a row of order date cell for this table this row is row number two next number of columns columns are found from any row so row number one number of columns is nine number of rows from column from A to A number of rows is almost thousand and next I'll combine the formula to get range string first thing is address from row 2 comma column 1 comma absolute relative mode is 4 means relative mode no dollar signs inside use a1 notation is false or let's skip this and sheet name is sales and we have sales a2 and also I want to get sales i998 is last cell from this sheet and let's go back to sales report and make another address function row is 998 comma column is last column or number of columns next absolute relative mode is 4 again and you see uh, this argument and this argument is in square brackets which means we may omit them just close our paren and hit enter and see i998 is just address of last cell I'll cut it and paste it here after semicolon and semicolon and this one I got range A2 up to I998 and I will get rid of these intermediate calculations from B, C, D, 1. Uh, this is B1, it's just sales, row of sales A2. This is columns. C1 will replace with columns. And D1 will be replaced with formula rows. Now well, I may delete them. And I have beautifully called range from first to last cell. Let's do something with this sheet. Let's add one column, one row here. And see what happens. We have sales A3 to J999 this time. That's because I've added one extra row and now my header begins from A3 and I also added one column. If I delete this back, this row and this column, I will get back our original range. So we get out expandable range name. Now I want to be build some query like this. Select call one, go to etc. Where something and so on. So I don't want to write this down. I want to build it with some blocks. So first block is getting columns or getting columns or getting fields to select we will select them by these column IDs so uh, first thing uh, not to get back to sales and sales report I will just repeat our 
field IDs and fields with transpose function but I will transpose first and second row so if we add some more fields I will get them with my transpose formula so this is all fields from sales this one is field ID and this one is field name and I need only some of them need fields I need region I need sales rep and I need total let's repeat this field names with VLOOKUP formula to make things clear from here hit F4 commands I always make semicolon because in some regions semicolon is used instead of comma but in US original settings we use comma for this region rep and total next is field order one two three next is select select for this is call this is spatial word for column and and we also need to add the index in which this column appears in our original table but we don't have this right now so let's just leave it call for now and also add index field index field index is match on this field ID match of this field ID from field list from here and match it with zero precise this is field number two, number three and number seven for now field IDs and field indexes matches but if we shuffle this so if we add another column in here let's leave it empty you see it's now this field index is 3 this is 4 and this is 8 so our formula prevents errors in future now let's add column number is field index call 3, call 4 and call 8 so if you like to combine our query right now we want to get a list of these calls call 3, call 4 and call 8 in this field order so I will make some semi query it will use data combined from each column with select comma and with this fields order select we must select these columns or call one from our selected range combi combined range or combined array where call one is not empty and order it by column one by call one Mm. 
we have Cal 3, Cal 4 and Cal 8. But if we change field order, for example, let's hit 4, we changed our field order in our select. So it is very convenient to leave field order in separate column in our settings. Now I want not to get total but to get sum of total. So I'll get rid of this and I will join this query result. Join comma and space join all this query text and we've joined call 3 and call 4 let's also add spatial close select select and this one so we got our basic query text let's cut this down and enter it from here and it's already done we may use it in future query Let's try it. Query of indirect, which will convert cell reference by string to a range. Our cell, cell reference, our, our string is sales A2 from A2 up to J998 comma and our query is select call 3 and call 4 before we've done I'll say that this query won't work because call 3, call 4 or and so on call notation is used with arrays not ranges if I hit enter I'll get the error no call and call 3 but that is repaired with curly brackets outside the range. These curly brackets will convert the range into array, so we may use call notation in query. This formula just repeated all regions and all reps for us, but I want to get some of total. So next one is select 2. It is sum of call number 8 and close parentheses If we use sum then we must also use group by. So let's start with group by. I'll copy this select close and change it to group by space group by and we have the same part formula with group by close and also we need these sums so again let's copy this query text and change h5h to i5a i so we will get sums and before that is just comma so the query is select call 3 call 4 comma select call 8 space group by call 3 call 4 let's add all parts of our query into our query text. We have added sum, it needs group by and it tells us it. We need group by so let's add this group by close at the end of our query formula. So I have already get the beautiful result but I don't like two things in there I don't like this empty row and I don't like this automatically edit sum before total I need to call this just total so first things is conditions 
and conditions. We will get only one condition. Region is not empty. For, for, or equals cos re and not equals to single quotes, which means not equals empty string. And let's use another formula, filter, for this filter of over a column in case we get another conditions in future where these column values are not empty, not equals to double quotes in formula. And let's join it with and spatial word. So if we get more conditions, we'll get one and second and last one. So we need to use spatial word and for concatenating this string. But if we have only one condition, so the formula doesn't use this end close, just what we need. At space where and we get where close. Let's exit inside query text, but we must be careful because where close must be added after all select is done. So you see, uh, after this comma we've got sum of column and after that, before group by close, we must add this where And our query was modified and our result was modified or for us too. Also, I want to do some more. I want to set this to total. So I want to add alias. Alias for, for this is total. And label is spatial word. Let's, let's add formula sum of call 8 and space single quote and total and single quote to close this sentence. So we got sum of call 8 call, call this total. Now I will use same technique to combine these strings filter where this is not empty then join this with comma then add spatial word label after space space label space and all this text and this must be added after the end of our query text after group by label sum of total let's also call rep sales rep Copy this formula here, but change i2 to, to h2, h2, and we get sales rep. So we've got unbreakable sales report. If we delete some columns, change their order, add rows above, but if we just will leave this arranged field. IDs, we'll get same sales report, nothing is broken.